This is a beautiful painting, which I'm very familiar with because it used to be in my mother's um, dressing room. So I've seen it all my life. And um, it, um, it was bought by Pierre Coll, one of his dealers. And when my parents um, separated in the 50s, in 1950 actually, they decided that the marriage was over. Um, Beltris wanted to get this painting back to give it to Antoinette and he um, asked Carmen, Pierre Coll's widow, and he said, I'll, you give it to me and I'll paint your daughters. And, um, and she said, okay. And um, so he got the painting and it took mm, like 10 years to paint the, the, the three sisters. Every time he painted, there's one painting that is here that they got. But normally they, there, should, there would, should have been one painting for every sitter. And, um, and um, this never happened because uh, he painted this, what he painted was immediately taken away by the, um, those, pa those people who sort of paid for his, um, you know, his livelihood. I mean, well, not 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 yes, dealers, but also people who decided that it would be good investment to give Beltris a monthly allowance and then to whatever paintings came out of the studio would be shared I mean everybody would choose one and they I think they expected 40 paintings a year and um, and there's a letter from Beltris saying um, I'm, I, I, they expect 40 paintings, I've got four. And um, <laughs> so that's what happened actually. Then they were, they, I mean, they were dis despairing. At the same time, they paid so little that um, yeah, they made it, even with so few paintings, they made a very good deal. Anyway, and this is one of them. Well, it's my mum, but it's, it's also such a beautiful painting. What I know is that he had this um, feeling that nobody did portraits anymore in, of his generation, and um, that it was um, a very, very interesting thing to do, to try to get... And so with Giacometti, for instance, who always despaired of getting ahead together they had um, you know those endless conversations about but how do you start and what do you see and do you, do you paint what you see or do you paint what you know and you know those. anyway it was frightfully he thought you know the human figure and, and nature were um, the, the stuff of painting more than anything else and cats <laughs> what did he like about cats so much I don't know they're lovely animals and um, well he said that um, he had um, he said I must smell funny because um, um, whenever there's a cat around he, he comes and loves me <laughs> so he thought that maybe he had some only would joke endlessly about being a cat himself at one point he has to go to the doctor because he's always sick and um, they have to x-ray him and he says I'm very worried that they'll discover my feline 
nature and be horrified. <laughs>